Hey, right here. In this video, we are going to walk through how to create a dropdown component using React, TypeScript, and Floating UI. If you want to see the demo and source code, check out the links in the description. We'll call our component Expandable Selector. It expands when clicked and lets you select an option. Here's what it will include. You can customize the appearance of the component using optional prompts like style and class name. This will be passed to the root element. The value prop represents the currently selected value. If no option is selected, it will be null. We use generics to define the type of the value, making the component more flexible. The onChange prop is a callback function that gets triggered when the value changes. There is also an isDisabled flag to disable the component if needed. The options prop is an array of options to choose from, and getOptionKey is a function that returns a unique key for each option. The renderOption function is to render each option. We have an optional opener content prop to display content in the opener. If this isn't provided, the render option function will be used. The floating options with the same as opener flag set the floating options with the same as the opener, and the show toggle flag display the toggle button. The return focus flag ensure that focus returns to the opener after selecting an option, which is useful in forms. Our core functionality for managing the drop-down state and interactions is provided by the use floating options hook. It uses the use floating hook from floating UI to handle the position logic. This includes determining where to place a floating options container, applying offsets, and ensuring the dropdown stays within the viewport by flipping its position if necessary. The hook integrates interactions such as clicking to open or close the dropdown, handling keyboard navigation, and dismissing the dropdown when clicking outside of it. By using use interactions, it combines this behavior seamlessly. It also manages focus and active states, ensuring a smooth and accessible user experience. The expandable selector container component is a style container for our dropdown. It uses style components for dynamic styling based on props like is disabled and is active. This ensures that the dropdown is interactive, visually responsive to hover and active states, and provides accessibility features like focus outlines. By applying different styles conditionally, the container offers a seamless user experience that matches the overall theme of the application. To keep our component APIs consistent, we use existing types component with active state and component with disabled state from Ryzen Kit. We use the option content component for both the drop-down options and the currently selected option in the opener to maintain a consistent UI. To prevent layout issues, we apply the crop text CSS utility to each child element, ensuring a long text is truncated and doesn't overflow. To indicate whether the dropdown is open or closed, we use the expandable selector toggle component. This is built on top of the collapsible state indicator, but includes custom styles and transitions for smooth animations effect. Since it's common to display a Chevron icon to indicate whether a component is expanded or not, we use a generic collapsible state indicator component. This component renders a Chevron icon and rotates it based on the is open prop using a rotation transformation. When the component is open and not disabled, we display the options within the floating options container. We also use floating focus manager to trap focus within the dropdown so users can navigate through the options using the keyboard. We style each option using the option item and apply active state styles. This is particularly useful when navigating through options using keyboard. The active option isn't necessarily the selected one, but the one currently focused. If the user presses enter, it becomes the selected option. Finally, we use the option outline component to highlight the selected option with a colored border. We use the absolute outline CSS utility from writing kit to position the element absolutely, giving us more control over how the outline is displayed relative to the parent parameters. That's all. If you like the video, please like and subscribe.